hey y'all hey welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is kiara i'm a mom to three little girls that make videos about laundry motivation good motivation and grocery hauls so if you like videos like that i hope that you would consider subscribing in today's video i'm going to be getting some laundry done and we're going to be doing a little bit of a little chit chat so without further ado let's go ahead and hop right into this video So first of all, let me go ahead and ask you guys, how are you guys doing today and how was your week? Because boy, oh boy, this week has been a very, very long one for me. So make sure you guys let me know how you guys are doing and how you guys are feeling in the comments. All right, y'all, so let me tell you how my week started first. So the first thing that happened was my work week started off first. Now, my work week, it was just not good at all. I'm not sure if it's because we don't have like too much work right now because it's like the week right before peak season start or the paths were just off and it was just like super super exhausting so that was the first thing that went wrong in this week so i made it through my work week and i'm like all right cool i'm just gonna give me some rest and everything right so got my kids off to school tuesday morning i went to sleep for about an hour and a half and i got a phone call from my kids school saying that i need to come and get my oldest baby nala from school because her asthma was acting up her oxygen levels were too low so um the nurse the school nurse asked me to call her asthma nurse to figure out what they wanted to do now if you don't have an asthmatic child then you probably won't know like what you have to do when your child is having an asthma flare-up now you're supposed to follow the asthma plan which means um, you get your child's saver inhaler because my daughter has an everyday inhaler and then she has a saver inhaler. So she has her saver inhaler, which is at Buterol that she has at school. So the nurse gave it to her and she was taking it entirely too many times within an hour. So that means that the, the saver inhaler is not working. So... I come up to the school, I pick her up, I head on to the emergency room because the nurse practitioner was trying to tell me just follow the asthma plan and give her some over-the-counter cough syrup medicine. And I'm like, nah, because I'm looking at my daughter and I'm like, nah, she don't look good at all to me. So went to the emergency room. So I'm thinking, you know, we're going to get in the emergency room and they probably gonna give her a, be a breathing treatment and a steroid like they did the first time we found out that she had asthma. So that's what I'm thinking. That That's not what happened at all. So we get in there, they give her the breathing treatment. She's doing a little bit better, but they're still saying that um, she's still like having a hard time trying to breathe instead of breathing in and now she's breathing through her mouth and her nose was flaring so that wasn't a good sign so we got to the emergency room at 10 o'clock in the morning tell me why they decided to keep us at 10 30 that night y'all that was a whole 10 hours a whole 10 hours hours before they decided to make the decision to keep her overnight all day long they kept giving her a breathing treatment then it decided well okay let's do magnesium through an iv none of this stuff was helping her and in my mind i kept thinking to myself when are y'all gonna introduce the steroid because this is what they did when we first found out she had asthma and 
I'm not the type of person that likes to be nasty or rude or come off that way because it can change how people, you know, act towards you or treat you. So I'm like, you know, you the professional is what you want to do. Cool. But at a certain point, it's like, OK, when we going to put two and two together and realize that giving her this nebulizer treatment the albuterol puffs and the magnesium and the IV ain't working let's go ahead and use the steroid y'all okay let me slow down because I'm ready to jump ahead okay they admitted us at 10 30 that night okay y'all I accepted that so it's too late at night for me to call anybody anybody in my family to say hey look let me run home get some clothes get the charger and all this other stuff now this ipad and everything like that so we can be comfortable since we are staying it's too late to call anybody so i said screw it we gonna just stay tonight here it is y'all one o'clock in the morning and we still don't have a room to go upstairs you guys we spent the night in the er now the next day comes she's doing a little bit better but not all the way better not good enough for us to go home so now y'all it's 10 30 in the morning so you know what that means, y'all we've been in the er for 24 hours this is the longest i've ever spent in the er 24 hours they finally come and tell us at 11 30 that hey we finally got a room upstairs okay we got the room upstairs i called the family member and said can you come down here and sit with her so i can go home and get a change of clothes let me go take a shower and everything like that because i'm pretty sure we're going to stay another night so my family member sat up there with her we got finally got her adjusted in her room i went home you know made sure everything was straight here came back to the hospital y'all why when i left to go home they finally gave her the dag on steroid i could have lost my freaking mind the whole night that we were there that first night i kept saying when is somebody going to introduce this steroid the steroid helped her okay so now they like instead of giving her the albuterol every two hours we will give it to her every four hours so we spent the night wednesday night as well so thursday morning nobody's really coming in there like this so i'm thinking okay well what's going on what's going to be the next step so finally the nurse come in and says you guys are getting discharged today and i'm like finally if you've ever spent the night in the hospital then you know it is very very uncomfortable if you are not the person laying in the hospital bed which don't get me wrong the hospital bed is not comfortable but that little recliner chair or that little sofa make bed that they give you that ain't comfortable either but either way i had so much mom guilt because i'm here in the hospital with one of my kids but then i'm not there for my other two kids i still had to make sure that to me i got off to school which Bay ended up making sure she got off to school so we pretty much had to swap roles i'm sitting there with nala he gotta hold the fort down y'all i had so much guilt i felt guilty like i shouldn't have felt guilty because i'm doing what a parent should have done i should have been in the hospital with my daughter there every step of the way but i have two other kids at home too so all in all y'all this is how my week was and now as y'all can see now i'm playing catch up trying to get all of the laundry and stuff done like that but anyways y'all that's how my week went um nala is doing better now i'm back at home so now i can go ahead and get this house together so y'all be on the lookout tomorrow for a sunday reset so hopefully you guys like this video because i did a whole lot more talking and i hope i explained everything so you guys can like understand exactly what went on this week but i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already and i will see you guys in my next one bye y'all
and make sure you guys are watching my videos all the way through make sure you hit that like button make sure you share the video as well because the next step is for me to get monetized and i cannot do that without you guys